uh, uh, improvement when adhering to this diet. In the Mediterranean diet, uh, it's a primarily plant-based uh, foods. Uh, focuses things on fruits, uh, nuts, vegetables, uh, whole grains. Uh, you replace butter with sort of healthier olive oil and replace other healthy fats with olive oil. Using herbs and spices instead of using salt to, to, to season your food. Also limiting red meat with a more of an emphasis on po uh, fish as well as poultry. And so those are sort of the main staples of the Mediterranean diet and there's plenty of really good cookbooks available to help you guide people who want to start the Mediterranean diet. Now the next two diet types that I recommend uh, have not been studied as much, particularly in the scenario of patients that have atrial fibrillation, but they have been shown to have improvements in inflammatory markers and atrial fibrillation has a lot of inflammation involved in it. And so not particularly studying atrial fibrillation, but I think these are healthy diets uh, that can also benefit people who have atrial fibrillation. One would be gluten-free diet, the other one would be the paleo diet. So in the gluten-free diet, a uh, gluten-free diet, basically you're eliminating gluten, which is a protein found in most commonly in wheat and rye and barley products. And so it really eliminates all the grains uh, that are most commonly available. So all the carbs, all the pastas, pizzas, breads are eliminated unless they're specifically made gluten-free. Uh, fortunately, uh, in today's world, it's becoming more of a common place to have gluten-free diets. Uh, so in, in several supermarkets, you'll be able to see uh, gluten-free breads, pizzas, as well as pastas. And so those are okay. And gluten-free diet has been shown to have uh, improvement in people's inflammatory markers and may show an improvement in atrial fibrillation as well. And just the natural process of eliminating foods that have either high carbs or flour in it, it's a, just a healthier way of eating. And so this is another diet that I typically recommend to, to my patients. The last diet that I recommend to patients, which is probably the strictest of all of them, but also may have the biggest health benefit, is the paleo diet. The reason why I like the paleo diet is because it basically eliminates all processed food. In the paleo diet, it's sometimes called the hunter-gatherer diet or the caveman diet. And the basic philosophy of it is that if a caveman couldn't eat it, then you shouldn't eat it either. And so it really